by beating him on the entry. Now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up once he gets to his legs. He's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. Wow, massive uppercut. Oh, how did he eat that uppercut? All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head. Making that one appeared to stun him. Oh, he's hurt. He threw that one with all of his power. Oh, massive kick lands flush. Oh, nice connection there by John Jones, and he is fighting with a definite killer instinct here tonight, DC. And you have to have it because the target's always on your back when you're the UFC champion. Jones seems desperate to keep that title wrapped around his waist. Oh, hurt. Jones is bleeding from the mouth, Daniel. Looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch. Oh, right there, the seven will blow the fight. I mean, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. Oh, he's got everything behind that kick. That one had clean. What an end to round one. All right, so now this damage really bears watching, right? All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not... You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Second round here. All right, so the uppercuts have been a big part of the storyline in this one, but the setups have really been key for him. He's not telegraphing that strike. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Nice reversal on the ground. Great job. Oh, huge left. Big combination. Well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the water. I mean, blood's in the water. You got to go and get it. You got to go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that. He's in a lot of trouble now. Severn gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are gonna have to dig deep. They're both hurt. an exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times. Oh! And that will do it! John Jones with a huge knockout tonight! Oh, my goodness. The official decision is in. As we go way beyond sky's the limit, and you know who we are, we 